But I can tell you tonight that God doesn't make mistakes when He creates humans. And He knew beforehand who He's going to create a man and who He's going to create a woman. So those people, the whole, I, I told you long ago that the USA is already long ago in huge trouble. That mighty nation is going to fall very hard. That mighty nation, this one nation, I love those people so much, but they're going to fall so hard. And the last days, they call bad, good. God said, when a man lay with another man, as if, as the same way that a man lay with a woman, that is an abomination to God. But the world called it to do good. To, to, they call it good. Now, okay, what I want to say to you, what Jesus said in Matthew 24, because of this increase of wickedness, your prayer find it more tough to move the mountain. So when you, if you prayed 50 years ago, you prayed a simple prayer, it will be answered because the opposition was not that great. Today, you need to pray far stronger for the same thing that it was the opposition Increased because of the increase of wickedness. In other words, the enemy won a great deal of ground. I speak about Satan. And if you don't know it, World War III is already long ago on the go. People, they reason and they say, oh, World War II this and oh, World War III this and World War III this is on the on, 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 undergo long ago already. And you don't even know it. Because it says in Thessalonians, the Antichrist will fully reveal him when he who will stand him and restrain him is taken out of the way. And the one who restrain him is the conservative man. What is a conservative man? I don't speak to you about politics, I speak to you about the Bible. What's a conservative man? A conservative man as a man who believes the Bible and everything in the Bible. And the belief of conservative man believes that we need to live by this Bible. Everything that we do, we need to raise our kids according to this Bible. And everything that is not in line with this Bible should be rejected. And everything that is in the Bible should be accepted. Plain, straight, very short, what a conservative man is. Satan's aim long ago, it was written up in the Illuminati writings. They need to get rid of the conservative man on the earth because a conservative man does not fall for the funny things that's not in line with God's word. Today, the conservative man, man is getting less and less and less and less on this planet. Even in the USA, everywhere on the earth, the conservative man is getting less, they're getting less, they less, Every year they're getting less. They disappear. And it's the conservative man that restrained the Antichrist from fully, fully manifesting himself. When the conservative man is out of the way, and that's why the Antichrist plan is things very, very nice through political figures, people behind the scenes. And you go and look, and all the people who's pushing these things are Jews. Sounds like I got something against Jews. No, I loved life very much. And I myself is from Jewish background. But the Antichrist will be a Jew. He will be a Jew. And his government will also be Jews. And today all the people that push these things, they are Jews. And I want to say you feel almost like powerless, but pray. Because it's taking over the whole world without anyone noticing it. But it's here, and, um, but Jesus said something very, very important. When you see these things, lift up your head, for your, your redemption is drawing near. Give God a hand. Amen. What is your redemption? Your redemption is the second coming of Jesus. He came for the first time. That was our first, our first great, first taste of the great redemption of Jesus Christ who came to the earth who paid the price for us, who showed us how we should live. Amen. According to the Bible, hallelujah, give God a hand for your Bible. 
according to the Bible, and um, people got discipled across the world, and Christianity took quite its root in many countries and was powerful, etc., etc. And now the aim of the devil is again to uproot Christianity and to decrease Christianity. But we are waiting for the second coming of Jesus, and that's going to be amazing as well. Hallelujah. So when you see all these things Jesus said, lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Amen. So you see, you look at Thessalonians, you see the things are coming. Many people will say, what, Pastor, what are you talking about? Well, I tell you, conservative people, and especially conservative men, is getting less and less. And your Bible says in Thessalonians, when he, it's not a she, when he is taken out of the way, he who restrained the Antichrist and stopping him from fully manifesting himself is taken out of the way. Then the Antichrist will fully reveal himself a great political figure which everyone is going to like. And people are going to like him. Even the Christians are going to fall for him. The Bible says that even the elect will be deceived. Even the elect will be deceived and he will come even with false signs and wonders. And many Christians are going to say, this is a great prophet. And it's not so difficult to deceive Christians. I've seen that through the years. It's not difficult. That's why the Christian church today, today needs very sound preachers to teach them the truth of God's word so they cannot easily be deceived. Because Christians through the years, I've seen it, get so easily deceived, so easily, so easily. And that's why there's a great need of very, very sound Bible teachers. But I believe in a great God and His Son, Jesus Christ. And He will not fail us. He will not let us down. Sometimes it really looks like we're going to lose. I know. I know the feeling. I know the experience. Sometimes think, you think you're gone. You think I'm down and gone. Who's going to help me out here? But if you call upon the name of Jesus, he will never let you down because those who hope in the Lord will not be disappointed. God will vindicate you. He will not let you down because he's God. He cannot let you down. He cannot. Because he's not a liar. And he said to be asked anything in his name, he will do it for us. And you've got faith, you've got to believe that your prayer is working. Amen. Hallelujah. Pray, Lord God, thank you for grace. In Jesus' name. Get the scripture, Mark 11. When you pray, believe that you received it and it will be yours. When you pray, believe that you receive it and it will be yours. Do you got the guts, spiritual guts? I don't speak about manly guts. Do you got the spiritual substance? Let me rather say this. Do you got the spiritual substance to believe this? Well, I've got to prove that mine is working. Your sh also should work. Yesterday was a proof. And some looking now, they will say, oh, he's boasting. I don't care what you say. The honor belongs to my God always. Give him a great hand. Amen. When I pray, actually why I pray, I feel so helpless. I don't feel strong when I pray. I feel so helpless and that's why I pray. I don't pray because I feel strong. If I was strong or I felt strong, why would I pray? But I pray because I feel so helpless and so weak. And that's why I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Prayer is for those who are weak. Prayer is for those who know that they cannot be victorious without Him, Jesus Christ. The Father in Jesus, His Son. Prayer is for those. The Bible says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for they will see God. I am poor in spirit, me. I'm not a strong man. I'm, I'm not a religious man, so by the way, I'm not. But I'm a guy that believes in Jesus. There's a huge difference in believing in Jesus and being religious. Blessed are the poor in spirit. They will see God. I'm poor in spirit, man. I need him every day. I'm weak. I'm weak. And that's why I pray. Because I'm weak. And many times I feel helpless. Sometimes I think about world events. I feel so helpless. God, what can I do about this? 
And then I pray, Lord, please help. I say this because I'm weak. I cannot change my circumstances. But you can. Please help. Amen. Say to never pray it off for the weak ones who feel helpless. Come on, what can you do about the events on the earth, coronavirus and all the political things that's going on and all the things? What can you do? What can you do as an individual? You can do nothing. But we can pray. And prayer is asking God to help us because we are weak, we feel so helpless. Amen. Sometimes people say, oh, this guy prays strong. Well, I don't pray strong. I'm very weak when I pray. And I pray because I'm weak. I pray because I feel so helpless. But my God never, never fail. He doesn't fail. What he said will come to pass, will come to pass. Because God is a promise keeper, he's not a promise breaker. And he will never go against his word. But I ask you tonight, you got the spiritual substance to believe him. The Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for. The substance. What is the substance which I believe in? My Bible. Give God a hand for my Bible. The substance of my faith is the Bible. And the Bible is God's word unto me. It's not just a book. It's God's word unto us. And many times people say, oh, Paul said this and this in the Bible. A person who said that got no clue what your Bible is. It wasn't Paul. It was the Holy Spirit. I hear it so many times. Oh, Paul said this and Paul said this. And Paul, if it was Paul that said it, I will never believe it. Because Paul was as weak as I am. But the Holy Spirit was inspiring Paul. And through Paul, he wrote, the Holy Spirit wrote, wrote down things that we will need today. The Holy Spirit. Your whole Bible is written by the Holy Spirit. He used different men. The Bible says, holy men were carried away by the Spirit. And as the Holy Spirit gave them utterance, they put it down in writing. All those writings were never a man, but the Holy Spirit. Give your hand for the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. And all the honor belongs always to him. I don't have to say it. It is so. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. My God is good. He's always good. And I pray, before I do anything, I pray. I pray before I do things. Because the devil is around and want to trap, trap us and to um, snare us. And the devil is seeking our lives and putting traps out for us. So we should do nothing without praying in Jesus' name. Amen. You go to the mall, you pray in Jesus' name. You go to the mall in Jesus' name. You drive your car there in Jesus' name. Amen. Anything that I do, I do in Jesus' name. You need to pray in Jesus' name. You've got a hand for the gift of prayer. <laughs> Hallelujah. Prayer is a gift given to us. Faith is also a gift given to us in God's grace. No, we couldn't earn it. But we can be obedient, and we can ask God, and we can seek the Lord. And Jesus said, seek, and it will be given to you. Seek, pray, it will be given to you. So we need to seek. Amen. We need those who seek and knock, 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 and it will be open to you. That's what Jesus said. Seek and you will find. So I know it's all grace. But God says to you, seek. It doesn't matter how you feel. Seek. Knock and will be open to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. Draw near to me and I will draw near to you. You got your part to pray. You got your role to live out. God has got his own role that he said he will do. But in order to get from him what you need to get from him, you need to do your own thing as well, which he commanded you to do. So he says to us, Jesus said, seek and you'll find. Knock and it will be open to you. You do not have because you do not ask. 
Ask, it will be given to you. Anything is possible for the man and woman that pray. Anything. Give him a great hand. Amen. <laughs> Faith is all about doing. Go and read Hebrew 11. These people believed God, but they acted on what they believed. That's faith. The guy who only believes, but do not act out what he believes, is a daydreamer and a wishful thinker. And will come to nothing. You read your Bible, you act upon your Bible. When the Bible says you need to love your enemy, you love your enemy. When the Bible says bless those who curse you, you, you need to do that. You bless those who curse you. When the Bible says... Pray for those who spitefully use you. Pray for them. In Jesus' name. Because great will your reward be in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen.